if you look carefully right here and right there, I added washers. There's a third one over on the other side, of course, to raise this up so a little more air goes to the burner. And I've discovered I can turn up the burner ever so slightly more and get a much cleaner flame before it starts to go pop, pop. So it just needed a little bit more air. Also, uh, the popsicle sticks shrank with the heat of the boiler after a few runs and there was started to be gaps in between them. I can actually shift them around. I actually shifted them all around enough that I could put one full new one in there. And now they're all nice and tight again. Good for the insulation. <laughs> So here we are on my uh, little layout that's a work in progress. As seen in previous videos, where I'll be able to run my Lionel type three rail O-Gage toy trains, but also this. When I'm done, all the track will be covered like this, so you won't see the little teeny tiny ties. And it still looks good with my O-Gage. See, looks great. I'll be able to take out uh, my O-Gage trains and run them. Here we have young Lord Michael lamenting and pondering his immortality. So much so he doesn't even notice the train go by. see one of the two tubes that comes down out of the boiler and through the fire making this a sort of simple smithy's boiler This AccuCraft locomotive can pull far more rail cars than this, like a far, far more, but I thought I'd end my evening with it. I got really nice control out of this engine. 